Okay, guys, this is a follow on to the uh, earlier video talking about uh, circular mills and American wire gauge. Okay, so American wire gauge, it's the standard in terms of how we specify a particular wire. Okay, and uh, there's a lot of parts to this. And, you know, you, you could make this a, uh, you know, a week long topic if, if you got into the particulars of it at a lot of great detail. But that's, that's not what I want to do. I just want you to be able to, to get enough information so that you can understand it, okay? So when we're looking at this, you know, this is AWG, American Wire Gauge. Uh, this is uh, the same table that's in uh, the uh, 13th edition. It's on page 73. As you can see over here, here are the uh, AWG numbers, the American Wire Gauge numbers. And you can see the first thing I want you to notice is the smaller the number, the larger the wire, okay? The smaller the number, the larger the wire. Now, um, these double, double odd or, or four slash zero, four odd, you know, those are, those are very large wires, okay? But what we're uh, usually working with, say maybe a, a number 10 or a, a number 12 wire, you know, 14s and 16s and so forth and so on. You know, um, speaker wire, electrical wiring in our house, you know, they have these uh, AWG numbers. And I just want you to, to kind of see, you know, how this works and, and, you know, notice that the area in this particular table is given to us in capital C, capital M circular mills. And, um, you know, what kind of determination can we make from that? You know, that sort of thing. And, you know, first off, the, the very first thing is I want you to know what a circular mill is, you know? So that's why we went through that in the uh, earlier chapters. So let's, let's pick one of these. Let's, let's say a number 14, which is a very common uh, gauge wire. And let's, let's look at the numbers there. We have a, um, it's, it's the, the designation is that it is a number 14, right? So first off, it's a number 14 wire. I'm gonna write these down. We're gonna switch off because I can't write on these that you're looking at. And it says the area in circular mills is 4,106.8 circular mills. And also a very important uh, number here is this ohms per thousand foot at 20 degrees C, right? now. This is uh, given to us and we need to say, well, wait a minute, can't that be different for different uh, uh, types of wire? And yes, it can, it absolutely can. And so let's see if there's any qualification to this uh, thing here. Kind of got this away from where I wanted to be, but I'll get back to that chart eventually. If you guys will hang in there with me, yeah. So, you know, here's some, here's some information about this particular chart, you know, where it comes from, that sort of thing. But, you know, this, this is um, for copper wire listed here. So I'll just go ahead and tell you that. And then, you know, the other thing, it says the ohms per thousand feet. So that's a good thing to know because if you're uh, specifying a particular size wire for a particular application, the longer the length of wire, the greater the uh, resistance, the greater the resistance, current times resistance will give us a voltage drop. And so we need to know that. We need to know that. And, and that's one of the things that, that uh, goes into the specifications of a particular wire in a particular application. Because if that wire is run is too long, the voltage drop might be too great for us to have the needed voltage at the point of uh, application. And then the, this final column here is maximum allowing current for RHW insulation. Okay, and so what that means is, you know, when a certain level of current goes through this wire, the insulation is designed to withstand, you know, the, the heat that might build up in that. And so this is a you know, it's specified at 15 amps for that particular wire. Now, I'll, I'll go, I don't wanna make this too long. So let me uh, switch over here um, and hold on. 
So here's all that information from the uh, wire that we were looking at uh, earlier, this uh, number 14. And, um, you know, here, here's the, the number 14. The circular mills were given as 4106.8. The ohms per thousand feet is this, and it was designed to carry 15 amps, okay, at 20 degrees C. So um, I can make a determination from this information as to um, the diameter of the wire. You know, maybe I need to know that for a particular reason. So our equation 3-2 says that area in circular mills is the diameter in mill squared. Okay, so these numbers uh, are given here. Then the next thing I wanna do is to do this, okay? And if I do the square root of mils squared, that's just going to give me diameter in mils. And then um, this number here, let me get a calculator out because you don't want to wait on me to do that. Okay, so uh, take the square root of both sides of this and square root of 4,106.8 comes out to be 64.1. And the square root of diameter in mils squared is diameter in mils. And so I can make a conversion now if I want to actually get a feel for, um, you know, the actual uh, diameter of this wire and uh, mills would cancel, right? And then I'm dividing by a thousand. So I'm just going to move the decimal one, two, three. So I'd have this as zero, six, four, one inches would be the diameter of this number 14 wire, okay? So, you know, just a little work uh, utilizing the concept of circular mills, making the conversions back and forth, um, that sort of thing. All right, I'll leave it at that. Make sure that you get this concept. I want you comfortable with uh, American wire gauge numbers. I want you to know that smaller the uh, AWG number, the larger the wire.